Hello everyone, for today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to build a much smaller lock and key mechanism for doors or any redstone anything. And for those of you who didn't see my previous video, what that means is you put in a, an item and it opens your door. If you put in, you know, a piece of dirt or cobblestone, whatever, it won't open your door. It's only a very unique item that only you will have a copy of. So here's the old lock and key mechanism. Uh, it's much larger and more importantly it requires that you dig into the ground unless you want to put it off to the side of your house and then the dispenser doesn't really work as well so this is a new one and as you can see it's much smaller and more importantly you don't have to dig into the ground to build it so you can build it on second floor apartments or anything like that um, obviously it still takes up a bit of space but it, it this will fit in just about any house and then you need hoppers leading into it like this so the whole thing is about uh, two by four by three blocks tall and that doesn't include the pressure plates or the door frame. So I'll build a new one over here and we'll start with all this. We need everything we need to build a sorter but we'll start just with building the door frame. And in addition to all the usual sorter supplies you'll also need some kind of pressure plate, a dispenser, and some kind of slabs. I'm using quartz for this video as well as the iron pressure plate. So we'll start by building the door frame. I'm not going to put the door in it yet. And then put a comparator facing into any block on the edge of the door frame. And put some pressure plates in front of that so it'll fire off the dispenser and open the door from the inside. Put a line of hoppers leading into the top of the dispenser and leading out to the front of your house. And then we'll build our sorter just like this. Actually, wait, we need to use, uh, we need to use the slabs right here, actually. And the reason you, you use slabs is because if you don't use slabs, your dispenser will fire off as soon as you put in your key. So set up the slabs just like this. And so you have a repeater facing above this hopper right here. And then put a torch. So it has all the same pieces as any other kind of sorter, but they're arranged differently. The torch is on top of the hopper rather than below the hopper. And the reason you do that is because it's going to need a line from the outside anyway, so it just makes it work in a more compact area, since you know you're already going to be using more than two, uh, two hoppers. So the next step is to get your key, and the key is uh, it's a unique named item. You name it on an anvil, and that makes it work like a password. If you put in, I'm naming tripwire hooks here, and I'm going to name it new key. If you named another one you know, new key one, two, three or something, then that wouldn't go into this hopper. So even if you put a regular tripwire hook, that wouldn't work either. So it, it's exactly like a password for your computer or anything like that. So I just put 22 in the hopper with 18 on the far left side. Now we'll put our door in. I put the iron door in just like that. And then one downside to this sorter design is it's not always on, unlike my other lock and key design. So, yeah, I'll show you why that matters. If we put a button here and press this, you see this door doesn't open. Because there's a torch holding it closed, and then you see it does open this one. So it's a little less secure, but honestly we're, we're using iron doors. If they really wanted to break in, they could just break the door itself. But if you're using an adventure map or something like that, then you might want to use my other lock and key, which is a little bigger, but I'll put an annotation for it on screen. So finally, let's test this whole thing out. If you named a whole stack of keys, then you'll have 42 left when you're done. You only need to use one. You put in the key, and then the door opens. You walk in, return your key, and the door closes. Simple, it works quickly, and yeah, it's very compact, most of all. But maybe you're someone who doesn't like to have, you know, naked redstone showing in your house. Some people think redstone's ugly. I like to see the redstone so I know how it works. But anyway, if you want to do that, then just replace this dispenser with, I mean, you could leave it as a dispenser, but I would replace it with a chest, and then you just need to make the input coming out of this whole mechanism and have a hopper input. So I'll, I'll fast forward through this so you guys can see how I encase it. But you doing the same thing, you're just letting it power the door frame. So I'll encase this in gold blocks just because I can, but maybe you'd want to encase it in obsidian if you're in survival, or bedrock if you're in creative. And remember to have a line of hoppers next to your front door so you can put your key in. Obviously this becomes a lot larger when you encase it in anything, but that's true of the other design as well. So that's the end of this tutorial. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe for new tutorials every Sunday and Wednesday. And thank you for watching.